and it looks like we are live yo how are we doing my homies this is the crypto homie back at you with yet again another live stream so guys we got a lot of stuff to talk about on today's live stream you know the uniswap stuff we got some bitcoin news but uh, we're going to start off a little bit of bitcoin and then we're gonna jump right into uniswap so guys what's the latest and greatest in the crypto space what do you guys want like want, want to see today i got a lot of stuff like stuff to go over um, just checking with these uh can you guys hear me well if you guys can hear me say uh put your favorite all coin down in the description below uh just let me know that you guys can hear the, all the audio is good all that great stuff so and it, just going to give this a quick share on the tweeters so we will be good to go we got a lot of stuff to go over today guys it's going to be a good one so looks like just tweeted it out cool so guys look bitcoin still above 10,700 this is what we needed we got this uniswap going on guys uniswap at three dollars and 19 cents at the time of this live stream 81 percent up today it's 81 percent guys that is that is just crazy 81 percent were you guys able to claim your free your free uni tokens because uh it, like if you are that's uh that was such crazy gains i mean you've seen people have multiple addresses to where they were they claimed and they got like three thousand dollars i saw somebody has was a, a, a liquidity provider for like uniswap got around 500k worth of uni guys 500k of uni that is some crazy crazy gains so yeah we're gonna check out their website then it literally just shows you how you can can claim your coins you know, you got historical users, liquidity providers, and socks. So, guys, I don't know about you, but this is this is major, major news. So, were you guys a, like able to claim and get those gains? I know yesterday we also mentioned the Kraken wins bank charter approval. Guys, this is some massive news as well. Kraken, it's it's now a bank. I mean, in the state of Wyoming, they got the um like like the like basically the regulatory approval to be a bank, officially a bank, guys. That is massive right there. And then Plan B, like we'll we'll get in the, like into these things more uh, more in detail then. But Plan B, you know, it says why did 425 million dollars from MSTR, which is MicroStrategy Incorporated, not move the Bitcoin price? It's because they bought carefully thousands of small incognito algo trade orders over weeks, guys. So we're gonna get more into that, guys. But this is part of Phase Five, okay? Do you guys know what phase five is? Because uh, we're going to get into that then too. Going back to the charts, as you guys can see, Bitcoin's hanging above 10.7, which is great. Ethereum, guys, Ethereum is pushing up, guys. We, we need to get above this $430 area, okay? $430 area is crucial. Crucial, very crucial, okay? So, with, like, with all this stuff going on with Uniswap, um, Everybody kind of forgets about like like if we go back to the the, the top cryptos, people are forgetting about Polkadot. P people are forgetting about Chainlink right now. They're forgetting about BNB. How is up like crazy too? So this is a time to be purchasing these cryptos that are are not popping right now. Right now you want to be buying the cryptos that are not popping. Like Uniswap is popping. Which hey if you if you can claim it for free, you know hold it maybe take a little bit of profit. Go, that like that sounds great. That sounds great. Um. But just keep in mind, like cryptos right now, like if you're looking to buy stuff, I mean, some of these top cryptos are down a little bit. Polkadot at 527, that seems like a decent buy. I mean, it's it's up 12% in the last seven days. But hey, I mean, that seems like like a decent buy. Chainlink at 1078. Okay, this is definitely a great buy. Chainlink, we need to go check out the charts right here. Let's pull up link. Like, look at that. It's definitely down. It's, it's, it's trying to create a support right there. Guys, same thing with OXT. OXT right here, it's doing the same thing, guys. It's just consolidating, guys. Things are consolidating. These alts are looking like they're getting ready to move. Maybe this weekend, maybe not this weekend, but they're getting ready to move. At least it's, it's what it looks like. So what are some of your favorite altcoins, guys? Because uh, we got, I mean, I made the video about XRP. I truly believe XRP is ready to make a next, I mean, a massive move. Another move like this in the next three to six months. I mean, it just... At least a small one, at least a small move, at least something like from going from like 20 cents to a dollar, something like that. I mean, wouldn't you like to see coins make moves like that? 
you know, going back to oh, like OMG, everybody was so excited to see OMG hit ten dollars. They're just so excited, and and a lot of people bought in at ten bucks. But that was not the time to buy, guys. Currently, um, just looking at the chart, we're kind of below this support area. That uh, if we look on the daily, you can see why I have a trend line there. There's definitely major support right there. But let's pull up the fifty. It just fell through through the 50 guys. I, I've been noticing this. So this is definitely not the greatest news. But uh, hey, it could also close. This candle might close back above it. So we shall see. Same thing with OXT. I saw it close below the 50, which is not a good sign. I, I was hoping to see a bounce off the 50. But that, as you can see, did not happen. But uh, what, like, what coins are you buying into? Because you do not want to be buying coins when they're all the way up here at, at highs. You know, like when OMG hit $10, people were buying eight bucks. They're like, oh, is it going to come back down? Is it going to come back down? It's like, yeah, it most likely will. But, I mean, long term, I see it well over $10. So, long term, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, you even have Cardano. This seems like a great buy at 9.2 cents, guys. I, I truly believe Cardano, oh, my. I mean, it has so much ma major potential that people are not looking at right now because of Uniswap. Uniswap has a spotlight right now. Money from cookies. You said, bro, this Uniswap stuff is getting me hyped. I wish I was using Uniswap before September 1st. Hey, I understand, bro. The people that were not using Uniswap before and aren't able to claim, they feel le like left out. They feel like they missed the boat, right? But guys, you have to understand, this is early stages of crypto. The very early stages. Just imagine what else is out there. Just be able to recognize that, hey, you know what? I missed this one, and that's all right, because there's going to be plenty, plenty more. You just got to keep your eye out, invest, you know, do your research, stay up to date. Guys, I try to stay up to date on the latest in the crypto space. And, hey, you know, you miss some stuff, you get some stuff. You, you only have so much time. So if you guys like the content I provide, smash that like button and, and subscribe for some more content. But with Uniswap, man, like money from cookies, there's definitely other opportunities just like this out there. And one of those opportunities, uh, excuse me, I just had to get a drink. One of those opportunities I truly believe is Cardano. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of the person that made Cardano, Charles Hodgkinson. Well, they're working on DeFi. They're working on stuff kind of similar to, to, to Uniswap. You know, they already have staking. Staking what was a big deal. They're working on D5. They're working on a stable coin. And they're actually working on stuff that said they're not even announcing. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're working on a decentralized exchange. Charles, he seems like a great guy. They have a, like, back in 2017 when it hit $1.20 all-time high for, for Cardano, that was based off hype. They literally had a white paper, and it was just speculation. It was like, hey, guys, let's try to do this. They didn't really have anything, okay? Now they're on their own blockchain. They have staking. They've integrated so much great stuff into Cardano that hey, it could be a, a, like a potential next Uniswap. You know, seeing seeing Cardano go up to like 20 bucks, I would not be surprised. And you're like, homie, that's crazy. Right now it's only nine cents. Yeah, that's the kind of gains I'm talking about. Um, in, in like in the comments of of, of some videos, I saw pe people disagree with uh, some price predictions. Which I mean, hey, please disagree with me and and like and tell me why. Because I'm not always right, so it's nice to hear another per like perspective. But what do you guys think the total market cap of cryptocurrency will be in the next three to five years? Let me know in the comments. We're gonna quick answer this. Uh, comment so money from cookies yeah i feel like ada and link are in the same consolidation cool off phase before they blow up hey my man looking at the charts it's not just ada and link you got oxt they doing the same thing you got omg doing the same thing uh band that's a little different story um there's a little bit of drama with band right now but you got adam doing a similar thing xrp is definitely in the same boat there guys i mean just, just look at Link. It, it, it's ready to make some moves. Even if it bounces down a little bit, a wick down, hey, that's a great, great buying opportunity. And money for cookies, yeah, you say I'm right. Hey, I, I'm just, I'm looking at the charts. I, I try to make a, an opinion based off, like off the chart. You see Binance Coin. It looks like it might consolidate. Maybe it'll come back down to the 50. 
But you know what, guys? This thing is in the DeFi play. So stuff like that, oh my. But I, I'm serious, though, with, like with, with ADA. They're getting into DeFi, guys. They're doing stuff they're not even talking about, okay? They're doing stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if they're working on a DEX. I would not be surprised. They could have massive gains like like the Uniswap, you know, and you guys can stake your, your Cardano to make more Cardano. So, and there's something else that I mentioned. I, I'm getting my days mixed up, to be honest with you. Um, but I mentioned previously, and it was pretty recent. Where is it at? Tezos, guys. This thing is below the 200 the last I checked. Still below. It's still battling. But it's it, it's above my support line right here, which I believe is major support slash, slash resistance. And look at that. Guys, this thing's a great buy, in, like in my books. You guys can stake this on Coinbase.com. You can get about 4.6% annual interest on, on Tezos. So, hey, that seems like a pretty decent deal if you ask me. Um, Cause I mean, it's just sitting there. If you're holding, like, why not just get a, get like a little bit for free? So that's definitely another one. I mean, looking at Compound, guys, Compound, back at a dollar. I mean, one hundred and fifty-one dollars. People were going nuts when it was at two hundred sixty bucks. Going nuts. So hey, we shall see what what goes on there. It seems like a great buy. Cause I know I I got in at around one hundred thirty-six bucks for Compound. So that was a decent buy. And guys, if you really want to know, I I got in at like OMG sub two dollars. So guys, I, I was ready for this breakout. It, it was nice getting in. It, it was like a week and a half before this actually pumped up like crazy. Um, and that's when I also made a video about where is it at XLM? There it is. I made a video about XLM. Let's get rid of this. Got to clean up my chart, guys. Okay. I still believe XLM is going to have some major moves, guys. This thing didn't make a move when I said to watch out for it to move. Um, it was I was disappointed because that, like that week I said OMG, zero X, and, and XLM. I said watch out for those three coins, and zero X and OMG both moved moved pretty pretty big. I was actually more than I anticipated. But XLM had a fake breakout. It pumped up and then dumped really hard, so that was disappointing. But guys, look, it's, it's bouncing off to 200 daily. That's what's up. This thing, I would not be surprised, just like XRP, to make massive, massive moves. So keep that in mind. But hey, if there's anybody new here, did you guys claim your your like, your like Uniswap? Did you miss out on Uniswap? I mean, I, I know that that feeling could be like, oh my goodness, that, that's you know 400 Uniswap. That's like 1,200 US dollars. Oh my goodness. But hey, there's always more and more opportunities out there. Especially in crypto. I mean, le like, let's go over to CoinGecko. Like, let's go to the filter. RL, what's going on, homie? You said, what a bloodbath on the stock market. Hey, I didn't even check out the stock market. Let's, uh, let, like, let's go to Yahoo Finance. Let's pull that up real quick. Whoa. Guys, look at that. Yeah, I mean, the Nasdaq is down 1.6, basically 1.7 percent. Hey, the Dow's down a little bit. You know what, guys? That that's why we're into crypto. That that is why we're into crypto. We're, we're in here for these gains on Uniswap. You know, up 81 percent in the last 24 hours. RL, are you in, into Uniswap? Were you a, able to claim? But yeah, I mean, the stock market. Whoa. Yeah, it's uh, but hey, you know, like long term it works out. But then again, this whole like the economic situations right now is very interesting. Um, I know, RL, you've mentioned Tesla before, which I don't know if I have it on this account. Yeah, right there it is, guys. Look, Tesla holding, <laughs> holding at 425, guys. This is, <laughs> that's great. That is great. That's some great news. And they're ha they're having their battery announcement, so I don't know about you, if you guys know about Tesla and their you know new battery. That's on the 18th, which is tomorrow. So that's what's up. So, um, just checking out just random alts here. I mean, Bat looks like another guys. All these alts look like they're about to break. Like they're they're trying to they're trying to make a bottom, trying to actually bottom out here, and then make you know make a higher low and then move up to the upside. Look at this ETH Grayscale Trust is a 
excellent buy in my opinion right now. This is an excellent buy at 48 bucks. This thing was all the way up at 600 bucks when it launched, you know, for the average person. Pumped up to like 260, and now we're down at 50 bucks again. Guys, this is a great, great, great buying opportunity. And then money from cookies. I can't wait. Tesla way more than just a car company. Oh my goodness, you are, you got that right, my man. Tesla is way, way more than just a car company. There, I mean, Elon, he he seriously, I, I know this is like so uh, like like cliche, but he's seriously a boss. The guy will not give up until everything is successful, until everything works out. That Cybertruck was a great opportunity. You either loved it or you hated it. And hey, good press, bad press, it's all press, right? That's why, like with Bitcoin, um, I'm sorry, guys, I have all these tabs open because they've all got some good info in them. Where is the one... Here, let's go. I retweeted it. So, Marty Bent tweeted out, more ransom attacks that demand Bitcoin. Bitcoin's peer-to-peer -peer sovereign nature shines here. You may not like it, but the urge and incentive to accum accumulate Bitcoin will make computer systems much more secure in the long run. So right now, some school was held ransom with, like with their IT for Bitcoin as, you know, like to get to, like to get their stuff back. And yeah, this is not good. I'm not I'm not saying that like, this is good, but I did I did tweet out and say, why aren't they asking for USD? Hashtag Bitcoin. If USD is so powerful, why aren't, why aren't they asking for it? And, you know, obviously because they were, you know, a, a physical handover, I like, I get that. And then and then this person just said, I wonder why they don't insist on Monero. I thought the same thing. Why aren't they insisting something? But I'm thinking it's easier for them to get some Bitcoin. They probably are on some OTC market. So, hey, is what it is, right? But uh, with Tesla, actually, Tesla is something would, would be nice to see. What has Elon said lately? Let's see, speed running. He said tunnels under city. Oh, I, I did read this one. This was a uh, tunnels under cities with self-driving electric cars will feel like the warp, to warp drive. First op operational dr uh, tunnel under Vegas, almost done. The boring company. Guys, that's kind of crazy. You guys think Tesla's going to make underground driving tunnels? That that like that sounds cool to me. <laughs> Doubles as an underground nuclear shelter. Elon, uh... Elon said the story of my life, trying to post fire content, legal sales, getting sued, more legal. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know what? If you're successful, you're going to get sued. You're you're going to have haters. It's just is what it is. All right, guys, just back, like, back to some crypto stuff. Tesla is definitely, I would love to get, get a Tesla. That Cybertruck looks so hot. Um, and you only need 100 bucks to reserve one. It's pretty cool. But I definitely want to see what their new batteries are like because that's definitely a concern that, I mean, I assume we all have. Cool. Alrighty, guys. So, I mean, right now you see you see Uniswap making such major gains, and you're just like, I want to get on some of these gain actions, right? You want to get in on some of the action. Well, guess what, guys? We're gonna do that right here. What are some great buys like right now? Look down here. What's not popping? Especially, you know, the last hour, 24 hours, seven days. Guys, Polkadot. Okay, the last seven days up up 12%, but still. It's not up that much like compared to some you and I. You got Chainlink, guys. Chainlink is definitely at a great buy right now. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are Chainlink fans, but Chainlink is definitely at a buy. Binance Coin, hey, it, it's consolidating just like we saw when I brought up the chart of BNB, which is right here, guys. It's it's consolidating, pumped up to 33 bucks. Its all-time high was around $40. So we shall see what happens. Like like what happens, guys. They're into DeFi. Guys, everything in DeFi goes up, okay, for, like, for the most part. I mean, except for Hot Dog. I'm sorry if you got in Hot Dog, you're probably feeling it right now. But, hey, for, for the most part, something legit such as BNB will continue to rise. And Cardano, I mean, I know I mentioned this, guys, but Cardano, I truly believe, I mean, over the next several months, as long as they can actually do what they're saying that they're going to do, whew, the price, the price will go so high. Tron guys, Tron definitely seems like one of those quiet guys right now. It was up pretty high, like what was it last week? Everything was popping with Tron, and now it's down 20% for the last seven days, guys. This is a great buying opportunity right here. Great buying opportunity. Let's see, where can you get yourself some Tron? 
a bunch of exchanges, Binance, Huobi Global, OKEX, FTX, and then RL. You said bought LRC at 21 cents. You mean Loop Ring? Who? Let's actually let's pull. Up, I posted this yesterday, but let's pull up Loop Ring real quick. Because um, I was actually looking at maybe get 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 in on the action here on Loop Ring. We pull up Pro Coinbase, and guess what, guys? Guess what? If you're not aware, you're aware now. Loop Ring is on Pro Coinbase. You guys can buy it. And RL, he got in at 21 cents. Ooh, that that was a great buy. If I remember correctly, yesterday on the live stream, it was around 20. It was basically 25 cents. It was just under 25 cents. So right now we're just under 23 cents. Still, still a great buy. Um, and yeah, it did it did work down on Pro Coinbase to uh, the low 22 cent area. So hey, I mean, we shall see what happens with Loop Ring. It definitely seemed like I was surprised to see co like Coinbase, Pro Coinbase. They're listing all these coins. They listed you know Uniswap, YFI, LRC guys, and these are ha happening so so fast. So guys, keep in mind, what else are they going to add? What DeFi plays are they going to add? In a uh, previous live stream, we kind of went over what Coinbase Ventures invested in, and there's a couple coins that I've been checking out, um, and one of them. Let's go over here. It's called Horizon. This one right here, the Coinbase Ventures invests in them. So it could potentially list on Pro Coinbase one day. And and what's interesting, if we go to Grayscale, and we go to what Grayscale Trust they have, Oh, look at that, a Grayscale Horizon Trust. That's not publicly traded, it's only private. But guess what, guys? All these are eventually going to go public. I mean, that that's there's no question if, it's only when. So just think about it. when Horizon goes public, when, where is it at? When Coinbase launches Horizon on their platform, guys, this will be crazy. I mean, if Coinbase Ventures invests in it, why would they not like launch it? That, that To me, that just doesn't make sense. Um, so the odds are, I feel like it will get launched. But the all-time high was 65 bucks back in December 31st, 2017. So guys, you're talking like a, pretty much a 10x, a, like 11x here. That still made your gains. And that's just making the, the, like the previous all-time high. The all-time low was 325 or 326. So basically about a 50% drop would make an all-time low. So this is a great, great entry point. What do you think of something like this? But just going back to LRC, the loop ring, you know, it's ranked number 55 on CoinGecko. Guys, it has a $273 million market cap. Max supply is about 1.3 uh, billion with a circulating supply of one point, it's just under 1.2 billion. So, hey, most of it's out, not all of it's out, but most of it is, that's definitely good. So it's nice this thing's a DeFi play because it, it has the TLV, the total value locked up, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what's this say? Capital deposited into the platform in the form of a loan clutter or liquidity trading pool. Yeah, guys, um, this is big. This is a DeFi play. If we go over to CoinGecko, scroll all the way up and do categories. Where's it at? DeFi. Guys, look, look at these top ones. You got Chainlink, Yearn Finance, UMA, Lend, Wrapped Bitcoin, and we just keep going down. DAI, keep going down. We got Compound there. Zero X is there, guys. Whoa, Loop Ring is there. That, I mean, this is some major moves right there. Loop Ring got Kyber Network, Uniswap. I wouldn't be surprised to see this go higher. Would not be surprised to see this go way higher. Uh, Am Ample Fourth is on there. RL, you've been mentioning Am Am like Ample Fourth for a while. Oh, sushi's on there. You guys hungry? Ban protocol, reserved right token, Thorchain, Nest protocol, Curve, Agar. That's also on Pro Coinbase. Nobody really talks about this one. Keep scrolling down. Um, Cream, I heard of that. Orion protocol. Guys, there's so much. Any of these guys could, I mean, if, like if they have a serious announcement, if they make some serious news and actually do something, can have major, major potential. Um, I believe. This was one of the ones that Coinbase Ventures is actually investing in, which I thought that was interesting. 
So it just says, okay, so it would undergo a contract swap in July 2020. Interesting. Okay, so, but guys, it, this has a million dollar market cap, and you can't buy it that many places. I mean, Uniswap, of course, Liquid, which is this exchange, which I've never really heard of before, and Gate.io, which not with not much like liquidity. But keep in mind, the market cap's a million dollars, so there's not going to be that much liquidity. So, what do you guys think? You know, if Coinbase invests in this, that's a uh, that's kind of a big deal. You know, hey guys, and here's a little, I guess there's an ad for Ledger. You guys just remember in the description of my videos, you guys can use the aff affiliate link, buy yourself a Ledger Nano X, a Ledger Nano X S. And right now it is, let's uh, let's pop it up. Right now they're 20% off. And if you guys use the code back to school, you guys will get, you know, 20% off. So there's that, let's uh, get that out of the way, but yeah. So let, like Ledger is definitely nice, but into the next thing that Coinbase is investing into, it's oh, it's just while I see it now, it's pretty cool with CoinGecko. You see what's the, the trending searches. So obviously Uniswap is number one right now, <laughs> so which is pretty cool. But another thing they're investing in is this thing called REL. It's relevant. Let's check this one out. So relevant, it has less than a million dollar market cap, guys. This is kind of crazy. Um, so obviously the liquidity is not going to be that high because there's not, I mean, the market cap's so low. But this could be one of those major moves. And and this is on, you know, just a few exchanges: MXC, the BKEX, Uniswap, Bill Axie, and Who.com. So guys, what do you guys think about these small market cap plays? Do you guys think these will? make some moves are you guys invested in these i mean with such small liquidity like you can't you can't really buy that much because i mean there's not that much liquidity to be sold you'll be buying the whole like order book but keep in mind there's a circulating supply of 500,000 rels with a, a total supply of 27.7 .7 million so it's like what's going on there you definitely want to see what's going on with the total supply and all that good stuff but this could be a great a great move. You know, you buy some now. Let's say you put, you say you buy a hundred of these things, and, and the thing goes up to like half a billion dollar mar market cap. I mean, that, like that's some serious gains, guys. Just like with like with Uniswap, if you were able to claim this for free, I mean, right now if you claim four hundred, that's that's a little over twelve hundred dollars, twelve hundred U.S. dollars. So convert that to your local currency. You know, it's still a decent amount of bucks just to get for free. Especially if you had multiple addresses on there. I mean, whoa. Just, I mean, I can't even imagine like getting like you know hundred thousand dollars worth of UMI because that would just be crazy. But guys, let's uh, scoot over to some of the, these news articles by Coin Telegraph. It says, "Price of tomorrow." Author says, "Bitcoin is a lifeboat amid financial turmoil." Guys, do you believe Bitcoin is a lifeboat? Do you believe these altcoins is a lifeboat to like from the current financial like situation? If we go over. To Yahoo Finance, as you guys can see, the stock market, the Nasdaq's down 2%, the Dow is down 0.63%, S&P is down 1.2%. But what do you guys think about those apples? Not that great, right? Especially when you see Uniswap up 81%. I mean, the crypto market never sleeps. Even here, guys, we have to prove a point right here. Even back when everything hit the fan, back in March, you see this? Let's make this a little bigger. When everything hit hit the fan, crypto is open 24/7. So Bitcoin dropped from about $8,000, fell down all the way down to 4,600. Then the next candle went down as low as $3,700. But guess what? Bitcoin only did that because there's no, you know, like little stop buttons that say, oh, once we go down so much percent, we're gonna stop going down because we need people to relax. No, there there is no there are no triggers to stop the market. The market's open 24/7. 365 with, with, with the stock market they halt the trading so it doesn't go down more so th in, th in theory the stock market should have dropped more but bitcoin it was a natural organic just dump because everything it was a liquidity crisis as pomp said it and hey look at us down from you know four thousand bucks we're hanging in at 10k right now just under 11k that is some massive moves right there guys massive moves but going back to the article Not that article, you know. So, what do you guys think of like what are you guys hedging inflation, hedging all this financial risk for right now? What are you guys utilizing? Are you guys utilizing Bitcoin? Are you guys are you more like a chain link fan? What is your options with that?
it's nice just to hear different perspectives hey to see what's going on cool cool just checking out some technical stuff and making sure we're good cool we're, we're looking good yeah guys just let me know in the comments what's your like your favorite alts what is some news you guys found fascinating are you disappointed that you missed the, the, the uniswap are you so excited that you actually got the claim your uniswap let me know down in the comments below but yeah just going more on to this article um it just says a renowned entrepreneur and author jeff bathas endorsed bitcoin as a must-have investment in times when central banks are ex exaggerating the ex accelerating debt problem guys i mean he said it perfect. Uh, they're making it worse. So we're going to go over some tweets by him. Jeff said, so this is obviously a longer thread. They only had part of, part of the thread here. It says, only two choices now. All around the world, default through a deflationary depression, including banking system collapse, or default through hyperinflation. So what, you know, that brings up a great question. What, what would you rather see? A, you know, banking system collapse or a default through hyperinflation. You know, what What would be better for the masses? A default through hyperinflation or default through deflationary depression? I mean, it, it's definitely a tough question. RL, you said you need physical gold, platinum, and silver as a hedge. Yeah, I mean, I mean the physical metals definitely are a great hedge. It definitely should be part of your portfolio of, like, of hedging. I mean, there's definitely, a, like, I mean, gold, I mean, uh, gold's valuable, obviously, because gold, it's gold, it's gold, okay? Platinum and silver, I mean, silver is used in a lot of electronics, and platinum is used, in, like, in a lot of stuff as well. I've, I've also heard of cobalt being uh, one of those ones you, like, you should pick up. But, uh, yeah, I mean, physical metals, definitely great. Um, but, I mean, but, like, that's just part of the portfolio of a hedge. Obviously, Bitcoin works, all, like, you know, you can send it further. You can travel with it a lot easier. Um, that's why Jim Cramer. I mean, he he's a gold bug, but he's he's about to drop one percent of his net worth into Bitcoin. That's a big move for a gold bug. So going on back back to the tweet by Jeff, he said, "In my humble opinion, Bitcoin is a must, not just for wealth, but as a lifeboat. Please do your own research. Follow." He says, "These guys, guys, these uh." I haven't heard of some of these, but uh, Pomp is definitely one. Peter McCormick, yes. Breedlove, yes. Uh, I, I need to check out like the rest of these. Guys, this is definitely, um, this guy seems to know what he's talking about. Let me go, go to Twitter, give him a follow. And uh, we, we should be able to see his, his uh, actually, if we go back to the article, we should be able to pull up, well, I guess we can't pull up the tweet. Ah, oh, here it is, awesome. So here, this is where we, like, we, we can figure out who's who here. So the, uh, I'm just going to give them follows because if this guy's saying it, he probably has, I mean, he's saying it for a reason. So it, like, it's just nice to see what people believe, like what, what people are like are looking at. But he like he's saying Bitcoin is, is a lifeboat. Um, and, and, while, and while we're here on Twitter, with Pomp saying something like this, Michael Saylor is publicly con conducting one of the greatest trades in history. This is incredible to watch. He's referring to MicroStrategy Incorporated, which Michael Saylor is the CEO. They bought a total of $425 million worth of Bitcoin. Let's let, let that sink in, guys. $425 million US dollars into Bitcoin. They're a publicly traded company. Guys, that, that's some massive, massive news right there. And if you guys didn't see this yesterday, if you guys didn't see this, or like I mentioned this in the very beginning, Kraken wins bank charter approval. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys use Kraken? Um, what's, uh, I mean, personally, th this is part of phase five. When, when we go to plan B, you know, this is part of plan B's phase five, which phase five we need in order for us to, you know, moon essentially, Let's go to his uh his Twitter and let's pull up. Yeah, he has to have a chart somewhere around here, like right here. In order for us to get up here above the 100K mark, 
we need phase five to happen. And phase five is when institutions, the big players get into Bitcoin. It's when, you know, it's in your pension fund. It's when it's in your retirement account. It's when everybody and their mom is buying is buying Bitcoin. But more specifically, the big players, you know, the pension funds, the major companies, such as MicroStrategy Incorporated, MSTR. Actually, let's go over to the stock market and let's see how MicroStrategy Incorporated is doing, guys, because they're holding a lot of Bitcoin. Guys, it's down. Whoa. Uh, it's down 6%. Guys, just the other week, it was like 130 bucks of not... Guys, so the low for the year to date was around $92. Guys, just like last week, it was 140 bucks. Now it's at 164, and then it's down today 6% because the market's down. But guys, this is it's probably a great buy, guys. Probably a great buy. Because if we go today, or it's five days, it was high around 175 bucks, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. They own Bitcoin. I mean, they, they own 420, they dropped $425 million into Bitcoin. So guys, I don't know about you, but that is bullish to me. So yeah, like if you guys weren't here earlier, the, the, like this Plan B tweet, why did 425 million MSDR by not move Bitcoin? So, okay, his uh, his grammar is not the best right here. So he's basically saying, why did MicroStrategy Incorporated buy $425 million worth of Bitcoin and the price did not go up? He's saying, this is because they bought carefully. They had thousands of very small algorithmic orders over a period of weeks. So the 425 million was transferred from weak hands, the people that were selling to strong hands, which is the institution, which is MicroStrategy Incorporated. So this reduces future sell pressure because now it's in the hands of strong hands, guys. This is, they bought, if I remember correctly, they own like 38,000 Bitcoin. You guys can correct me in the comments below, but they own somewhere around 38,000 Bitcoin. And guys, that's in strong hands. They're not selling. They definitely are not weak hands. If the market tanks down to 9K, they are not selling their Bitcoin, guys. There's just no way. If anything, they're going to be buying more Bitcoin. So, guys, if, if you like this content, if you guys like this news, if you guys like the value that we're providing here, please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button for the latest and the greatest in the crypto space. And as always, it's always nice to hear what you guys are checking out, what's the greatest in the, you know, like like crypto community i can only check so much news so let me know what's going on what am i missing so yeah that's what plan b i mean plan b has so much so much good news it's just um it's just great i mean going from weak hands to strong hands so what do you say are, are are you a weak hands are you strong hands that's just something to like go over now this was elon musk Ooh. Guys, so up like up next, Bob Lucas. Guys, this is guy is a definite follow. Okay, guys, he has his four-year cycles. He's definitely a follow. So at Bob Lucas, and he's also on the YouTubes. Um, so definitely check him out on YouTube as well. So he tweeted this out, which I thought was, I, I mean, I just thought it was great. My my godson turns 13. Since birth, I've deposited a hundred dollars every birthday, Christmas, and major event into a MCD and INTC drip in his name. No plastic import toy gifts. By 16, it will likely be over 10K. And he's starting to and he's starting to understand compound growth plus investing in, in practice. Guys, this is major right here. This is major. If you guys have kids, think about it. This is something to do. This is something that could I mean, change their life, seriously. Because compound interest takes time. And oh my, I mean, you start when, like, like when they're like one years old. I mean, by, by the time they, they turn 18, that's 18 years of investing. Well, that's, I mean, they're way ahead of the game, guys. And then he also goes on to say, let's zoom in for you guys. He said, did the same with my kids. Although they got the plastic gifts too, you know, smiley face. Now when they add to their positions using their gift or chore money, I match it 100%. Guys, what a great incentive. He's incentivizing his kids to not just only invest, but understand the fundamentals of investing and he's going to match them. He, he's, he's doing what a company would do for 401k. I mean, I think that's pretty cool because I mean, think about it. If you're 13 years old, how much money are you making? How much money you're able to invest? You know, if, if you only have like $50, that's nice to be like, you know what? It's only 50 bucks, but guess what? My parents said they'll match whatever I put in. So hey, if I put 50 in now, now it just instantly doubled. They're instantly getting hundred percent gains on their money. 
So it's pretty cool. And then it says basic like life economics they don't get in school, although they will spend 300 hours doing basket weaving. I assume the basket weaving things means that they're still going to school. They're still doing the whole college thing. That's what uh, I take away from that. So, uh, but maybe a misunderstanding. And if I am, hey guys, kindly correct me in, like, in the comments below. What do you guys think about doing this? Do you guys have kids? Do you guys um, do you guys invest for your kids? You know, before they even know what investing is, before they, you know, like if they're two years old, you, like they, they, they don't know what money is. They just want, you know, whatever a two year old wants, you know? So I, I think that's great because now you're setting, you're setting your kids up for financial freedom and this will definitely help. So there's that. Um, just wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, guys, this whole Kraken news is definitely a major thing. Um, Definitely major with the banks. So let's get start getting rid of these tabs. And yeah, we mentioned with MicroStrategy Incorporated. Ooh, the, we got to keep this up though. The stock to flow model. What do you guys think about Plan B stock to flow model? Um, I, I definitely like it. And there, there's more to it than just a model. He has you know a whole. I think it's a medium post about it. So it's pretty cool. Grayscale guys. Okay, this is something to we, like. We should dive a little bit more into. As you guys can see, let's see if we can make this any, I guess we can't make it any, no, we can. So as you guys can see, there's all these grayscale trusts, okay? But there's only one, two, three, four, five, there's only six available to the average trader. These ones that have dashes here are not available. So there's four more trusts they have that we're not able, the average person is not able to buy into. So what happens when they launch? Well, let me show you, homie. Let's go over to Trading View, which is right here. Let's go down to the ETH one when it launched, which is right here. And yeah, that, that's what happens right there, guys. That right there is what happens. Um, if you guys like seeing opportunities like this, please smash the like button, subscribe for more content. Always here trying to give out the latest and greatest news in, in the crypto space. So just think about it. Do you guys want to get in with something like this? I mean, it popped, the wick was down at 80 bucks, popped up to uh, 614. And then here, like, look, we're at the Litecoin one. This one was recently done with Bitcoin Cash. Look, uh, looked like it came off around $22, popped all the way up to a hundred bucks, guys, a hundred dollars. Guys, that is crazy, okay? A hundred, a hundred bucks. Wouldn't you guys like, like to get in on something like this? I know I enjoy these rides, so um, stay tuned for more. But yeah, guys, that's something with Grayscale to keep you like your eye out with. Watch when these things get launched. Um, they're definitely working on it. They want these trust available to average Joe. It's just, you know, the regulations, the SEC, all that great stuff. It holds them back. So just keep that in mind, guys. Keep in mind that they're working on it and they're doing their best. So keep that in mind. Oops. I just changed the size. Okay, cool. We are good though. So, like, what do you guys think of Grayscale Trust? Do you guys invest in them? Um, what's uh, what's your opinion on that? So, moving back to Uniswap. I mean, let's refresh this. See what it's at. Still up seventy-seven percent, guys. Seventy-seven percent, guys. What is going on? This is crazy, crazy good news. Um, back to Pro Coinbase, guys. As you guys can see, Uniswap. Wi-Fi, LRC, Looprink is available, okay? You guys can get these on ProCoinBase.com. Obviously, Uniswap was just listed. There's just transfer-only mode. Um, why, why, why are we doing this? I call this like the, I usually call it the circle of death. But um, yeah, so it's loading. But basically, with Uniswap, it'll go through its posting-only mode, and then it will officially be launched to where you'll be able to put in limit orders and then market orders and all that great stuff and eventually i wouldn't be surprised if it's available on coinbase.com where the average joe that doesn't know how to use something like pro coinbase will be able to purchase um i'm actually working on some uh like kind of like what do they call like how-to guides stuff like that um like courses what like what kind of stuff are you guys interested in like what kind of stuff do you, do you guys want to learn because i understand like pro coinbase you know Kind of looks intimidating. What like what like when when you get there, it's like whoa! I've never traded before. Like how do I use this? Like yeah, you like you can watch some video on YouTube, but like at the same time, like get like going through an actual course course of how to use it will prevent you from making some major mistakes. Because all this can be confused. Like whoa, what is going on here? You know, do you guys like what is this? What is that? This there's stuff everywhere. But if you just go to Coinbase.com, it's so much more simpler. But they charge higher fees, so keep that in mind. Um, 
And hey guys, it's, it's always nice to know what is your local currency? Do you guys use the US dollar? Do you guys use the Euro, the British pound? You know, what countries are, are you guys from? It's always nice to hear. But uh, yeah, Wi-Fi, Uniswap, Loopring, the latest listings. I mean, UMA was also a recent listing. All these right here were latest like, listings, but the most recent were these three right here. So that's definitely what's up. So heading over, like I said, oh, you guys definitely want to claim your, your Uniswap if you guys used the, 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 Uniswap, the Uniswap, I'm sorry, um, like platform guys. And you definitely want to check out this blog post by them. Guys, this is serious. This was, you know, September 16th, just yesterday. Guys, they're giving, it says 60% of the UNI Genesis supply is allocated to Uniswap community members. Guys, that's a big deal. And let me scroll down and show you the chart. So 60% for the Genesis UNI allocation for the community, you see the pink one. Then 10 year inflation UNA allocation. Guys, check this out. The community gets 67%. Yes, you heard that right, 67%. That's um, some, some major news right there. So what do you guys think of that? How uh, those apples. So like for example, if you guys missed the whole claiming, you know, if you guys can't claim because you didn't use it prior to September 1st, are you buying some right now? I mean, Uniswap is on so many exchanges, guys, and the list is just growing. I mean, you know, Binance, it's on Uniswap, obviously. I mean, just so much, guys. I mean, Pro Coinbase is, isn't even on here, but that's because it, it's not officially trading. They're just on there for limit orders. But I know Bitru is on there. I know there's so many exchanges. KuCoin's on there, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, it's, it's right there. So, guys, are you guys buying Uniswap at three dollars i mean it has a market cap of 204 million at, at the current time of recording could this thing be a top 10 crypto could this be a top five crypto let me know down in the comments below it has a max supply of one billion dollars and it looks like the circulating supply is only 65 million but hey as you guys can see by going to their blog which is right here they, they they literally spell it out to you they tell you how all this stuff's being launched you know this is the one billion tokens they literally show you exactly how it's going to be launched when and who it's going to so guys don't be afraid okay don't don't be afraid to check this out and let's just see like what's going on so and then like like just like a little more information here liquidity mining so it says an initial liquidity mining program will go live september 18th 2020 the initial program will run until november 17th 2020 and target the following four pools on uniswap version 2. so you know there's eth slash usdt eth slash usdc eth slash dai and eth slash wbtc oliver anderson you woke up and you and you woke up today saw this and, and blew a load yeah my man this was definitely definitely a crazy move seeing Uniswap go like go like this guys. I mean if you were a liquidity provider and you had all these addresses set up Whoa, congratulations. Make sure you claim take some profit and hodl guys. This is some some serious serious stuff So Oliver um, Were you able to claim like, cl like claim tokens for you and I and just curious did you have multiple addresses to claim because uh, I Mean you could have made some serious serious dough and guys as always just quick Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, guys. I'm trying to give the best content out to you guys. Um, and, and as always, I like to hear your stories. Are you guys making a lot of money? You guys find a hidden gem? Let me know. You guys can send me DMs on Twitter. As always, on Twitter, I'm at, let's get rid of this. I'm at the crypto homie, and then, uh, and then at homie underscore crypto. So you guys can uh, check me out there. And as always, you, like, you guys can put comments on all the videos. Oliver said, yep, and purchased 1K tokens. That's what's up, my man. You got 1,000. Whoa, so you're, you're, like, you're, like, you're dropping a decent amount of bucks into that. So 1,000 tokens would cost about $3,000. Yeah, I mean, this thing definitely ha has some major potential. If we go back, oh, I think I might have closed it. It was, I think it was on this one. Dun, dun, dun. Because this was something that I think will really open your eyes. Yeah. I, I close it. So we, we go to the top, you know, DeFi finance coins on Coin Get, Gecko. So we scroll down, keep scrolling, keep number 16. U, Uniswap is number 16. Keep in mind, this thing could be a top five for the DeFi plays easily. So 
And top five, I mean, market cap for the top five is six is 640K. I mean, 640 million. So Uniswap got some room to grow at the very least. I mean, you're talking pretty much that's more than a 3X. So you're, you're talking about a $10, $11 UNI. I mean, Oliver, I, I imagine you're going to have some sweet, sweet gains with that, right? A $10 UNI? Whoa, whoa. That sounds great to me. So yeah, we did Kraken, Grayscale. So Oliver, like, just curious, are you only like like a Uniswap person? Or are you invested in Bitcoin and all these other DeFi plays? Like, I mean, Chainlink's the number one DeFi play at the time of this recording. You know, the market cap is at four point one billion dollars. Um, then you got your in finance, you know, UMA, Lend, all that great stuff. Um, or are you just strictly, just strictly? Oh, so you just said everything. So you're into everything. That's what's up, my man. What is so since, since you're really into DeFi, what are let's say like low market cap DeFi plays that you think have major, major potential? Just be curious. I always like hearing different, like different perspectives. Let me know in the comments. Because I've heard of this thing called, um, where is it at? DAI. Did they rebrand? No, it's DIA. I've heard of this thing right here called DIA. And I've heard they're working on, uh, like, they're in, like, like the, DI, like the uh, DeFi space. With only a $50 million market cap, guys, that's huge. And you said Lend? Yes, I've heard of Lend. That definitely seems like, oops, I accidentally closed the DeFi one again. So you said trying to play some ones that aren't named Yam or Yoast. <laughs> I I completely agree. I completely agree. <laughs> yeah, we're toast. Yeah, um, that that sounds like a good idea. Have you heard of DIA? Um, and you, you said purchase at twenty cents. You purchase some of what at twenty cents? Because it sounds like a good deal. Yeah. So DIA. It's not. I don't personally own any, but uh, somebody in the comments a while ago mentioned it. Oh, you got at, uh, lend at twenty cents. Whoa! It is at fifty-five cents. Whoa! You're definitely in the money right now. That's what's up. I mean, and it has a, a basically a seven hundred million dollar market cap. This thing has room to grow, especially with. I mean, I personally believe the total market cap of crypto is going to be in the trillions, multi, multi-trillion dollar market. So I wouldn't be surprised to see these things hit like ten billion dollar market caps or higher. And that's at least a 10x. That's over a 10x for uh, Lend. So yeah, but with DIA, I mean, it's owned a bunch of stuff. It's owned Uniswap, got KuCoin, Binance. It's owned Binance too. So uh, it's one of those things that did have a little bit of a pop. And I, I just want to see the all-time high. Yeah, all, like Oliver, you said fun times. Yes, this is definitely fun times. This is, even if you weren't, okay, even for the people that missed the boat with Uniswap, are not able to claim and all that stuff. Okay, put it behind you. Look at, there's so many other opportunities. So many other opportunities. Oliver, do you agree with me that there's a lot of opportunities? Let, just let me know. And be honest, bro, you don't just got to agree. But I feel like there's so many other opportunities out there that, yeah, Uniswap was a great, a great, a great thing to be in. But if you missed it, there's something like this could potentially make major gains as well. I mean, as you see, it has all-time um, high for... DIA at 513, all time low at eight, like 80 cents. So, guys, buying it at $1.95 could be, you know, could be a de like a decent buy. And then Oliver said, yeah, and Boat hasn't left yet on the first day. So, he's saying that that, that you really haven't missed out on your swap because, I mean, it didn't really go that high. He says, you know, if it goes to 10 bucks, you are fine. Yeah, I mean, if this thing goes to 10 bucks, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see it around like a $10 area in the near future i would not be surprised um and, and the way they have everything set out on on like on this blog post i wouldn't be surprised to see this thing hit 100 bucks in the next several years i i would not be surprised so just keep that in mind as well what do you guys think about a hundred dollar you and i and no i'm not saying this just so you guys are like whoa 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 no i'm talking over the next several years you know it, it'll take time so you just got just got to be patient, you know. You got to have that long-term perspective. It's like earlier in this live stream, I mentioned, hey guys, if you miss out on you and I, like, like let's check out all these other opportunities out there. 
And where is my trading view? I know I have it somewhere. Right here. Guys, I, I'm not sure about you, Oliver. What do you guys, what do you think of ADA Cardano? Charles Hoskinson, you know, the CEO, has said they're getting into the DeFi space. They're working on a stable coin and they're working on so much more that they're not even telling us what they're working on. I wouldn't be surprised if they're working on a decentralized exchange. I would not be surprised if they're working to, like, to compete with, like, with Uniswap, to compete with Chainlink. I would not be surprised. I actually would, uh, I'm, I'm actually expecting a partnership with Chainlink, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if that would happen. So, like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that'll happen? Like, what's the, uh, you know, what's going on there? I, I think Chainlink could be a decent buy, especially at 9.2 cents. You know, it's like, what happens if they launch a DEX? What happens when they actually launch their stablecoin and announce whatever they're not talking about? And then Oliver, you said needs Coinbase listing and something else to pump it. Oh, it's on the list of possible Coinbase um, listings. So we like, I think only time, I, I think give it some more time and it will happen, especially if they get into the DeFi space. Because as we see, everything DeFi is getting on pro Coinbase. So, hey, they just listed U, like Uniswap, YFI, and Loopring. So that's what's up. Oh. So, like somebody that's uh, always on the live streams, always commenting on the videos, RL. He's mentioned uh, Loop Ring for a while now, and it finally got listed on Pro Coinbase. So it definitely seems like it's going to have a lot of liquidity because because Pro Co Coinbase does have a lot of liquidity, and and a lot of Americans use Coinbase or Pro Coinbase. So once they launch it on Pro Coinbase and Coinbase.com, that I mean, that that would be great because like you said, it'll definitely pump. And then they actually have utility because. Cardano pumped to around $1.20 in 2017, and it was just a white paper and some speculation. Now they actually have a working product, so that's what I like to hear. But back to the DIA. Yeah, we saw where you, where you guys can buy it. It's uh, I know when, I, when somebody mentioned it the first time, it was barely on any exchanges. So guys, it's getting listed on more and more. Um, it still hasn't made too high pumps, so... You know it's uh it's working out but guys if, if this thing would would uh, make like a major DeFi play that would be great because i did see up here it says dia bonding curve sales has ended for more details you know refer to their blog post by teen let's see what so on august like on august 17th it says tokens it says towards the end of the bonding curve dia's token bonding curve sale has been ongoing for the past 14 days so this is some like old news, but uh, it seems like they, they were selling some. If I'm not mistaken, you couldn't actually, like if you're an American, you couldn't go into the website because it was like one of those things. Um, so, you know, hey, it's uh, it'll just be interesting to see what happens with DIA. But like, if you guys just think of the total market cap of cryptocurrency over the next three to five years, like how high do you guys see it going? Do you guys see it going like, you know, $1 trillion? Because I think it's something what like when you're thinking of prices for cryptocurrencies, and you want to be like realistic about it, you can, I mean, like just think about this. It was it was about if I remember correctly, 830, 850 billion dollar market cap for the total cryptocurrency market cap. Okay, so 850 billion dollars, guys. That's not even one trillion. When, like when you look at the like the stock exchange, they have trillions of dollars. I mean, gold is around a nine trillion dollar market cap. Okay, so guys, just keep that in mind. What do you expect? I mean, like obviously, I, I mean, I expect us to break this, but going way, way above eight hundred and fifty million dollars, I wouldn't be surprised if we are multi trillion dollar market cap. I mean, hitting way higher. You know, like how high do you, like do you guys think? I mean, hitting one trillion would only really be. You know, we're just then just beating our all-time high. You know, like like if we hit one trillion, so you're talking an extra 150 billion based off of our thing, like thing, like based off of our previous all like all-time high, which is nothing, because I mean, I personally am thinking that like this bull run we're in, I mean, we're in the early stages, guys. Keep in mind, early stages, like you know, 2016 stages. If you go back to 2016, which 2016 was back here, which is not even a blimp on on the chart, not even a blimp. So when, I feel like this this is going to be like this in uh, in five years. You're not even going to notice it. It's going to be so small, so small. You won't you won't even know. So hitting what's this number? 
oh, this is one trillion right here. We're gonna easily break through through one trillion. We definitely got like got some resistance like to get through, of course. But I wouldn't be surprised, like realistically, going up to possibly up to, like uh, like spiking up to ten trillion dollars, ten trillion dollar market cap. Um, what do you guys think about that? I mean, obviously, we're probably, you know, it'd be like a big wick. It's not going to be, there's not, it, it, it's going to be like this. There's not going to be much action up there at, at 10 trillion bucks. But hey, I mean, even 5 trillion, I mean, you, like you're talking right now, total market cap is $352 billion. So just for it to hit 1 trillion, you're talking, that's more than a, a 2x. So, it, and, and, and like, and that's why with some of my videos, like here, let me just pull up. Let me pull up my channel real quick. So as you guys can see in some of these videos, for example, the OMG, you know, the millionaire 2020, can it make you a millionaire? Guys, if you guys actually watch this video, you guys can see how, you know, it could be possible with the, like the full market cap of crypto. I mean, I could see OMG hit like a $20 billion market cap, a $30 billion market cap, because I believe that's what I said in this video. If I remember correctly, off the top of my head, and then I, I, I like I understand that's probably hard for some people to actually think about, um, but if you're thinking of a multi-trillion-dollar market cap, you know, five-trillion-dollar market cap for the total market cap of crypt, like cryptocurrencies. I mean, these top plays. So if we just go back to the homepage here, these top plays. I mean, they're all gonna have. I mean, basically, you scroll down. Instead of this being like a hundred million, it's gonna be like ten billion. 20 billion like everything's gonna go so much higher so just i try to keep that perspective in mind i mean and and these plays like think about it, ethereum is not oh wow i was looking at volume guys that's my bad so scrolling down here you know like these things are all around one billion dollar market cap i wouldn't be surprised to see these things jump you know 10 20 30 million 30 billion you know maybe 50 billion for some of these projects and of course scrolling down the, the like these are all going to be like in the low billions i mean and some will jump higher, some won't. So, hey, you know. So yeah, we got a. Uh, uh, see, see, we got stuff going on, on in the chat. Hey man, I, I I just try to provide the best value for you guys. If you guys like that? Please give this video a nice thumbs up. Subscribe for, like for more content. So yeah, I mean, just uh, checking out like what's the latest in the space. Hey, if you guys have something that's going on right now that I'm not mentioning that I have not mentioned, hey, please feel free to like to let me know i'm always out there to learn you know this is like like a place to learn what's going on in the space it's always nice to see what's going on with new projects i mean i i've uh i've been mentioned so many hot projects like rl has mentioned you know loop ring uh somebody's mentioned i forget the name the dia one so just keep in mind these things have some major major moves to go and something else that no one's talking about and this kind of just popped in my mind when it when i said mentioning coins helium okay this thing with a $71 million market cap was launched on Binance.us. I was like, what is this? Like, what is this? Like, I, I don't understand this thing called helium, like the thing you inhale and have a funny voice. Um, well, guys, it's pretty much just on Binance. It's on Bill Axie, FTX, Hopbit. And Binance.us is the most liquidity. Guys, I bought some of this because I think that this thing right here, I mean, what if it gets a pro Coinbase listing? What if this thing gets listed on other exchanges? That will be a big deal. So just keep that in mind, guys. Um, th like this thing with only $71 million market cap, I mean, we could see this thing double easily, triple easily. So what do you guys think about that? Yeah, total market cap, I mean, <laughs> whoa, I mean, it just to prove it to you guys, I'll show you guys the, the market cap of gold. Just a quick Google search. It just says around nine trillion dollars for gold's current market cap. So it's around nine trillion dollars, and that number is from March 23rd, 2020. So it might actually be higher. Um, but guys, you get the point. If you guys believe Bitcoin is a store of value like gold, and then like Ethereum, Chainlink, and and these DeFi plays have other utilities that they're not a, that like they're not a store of value, but they have other other utilities in the crypto universe. Then I mean. <laughs> Like hitting the nine trillion dollar market cap just for Bitcoin is definitely possible. So what would all the other coins be at then? How high do you think they will go? Because 
I believe they're going to go pretty, pretty high. I mean, like we pulled the Bitcoin chart right now, looking at it on the daily. We're above our 10.7. That is great news. Great news, okay? We, we, like, we want to hold this as support and just continue like to go higher. So, you know, and if we take our step back, you know, stay level-headed, look at it on the weekly. Guys, that's looking good. Um, let me get rid of these. And, and let's go check the monthly out. Guys, we're holding that 10.7. That looks good. The wick was down, looks down like all the way. That's what's up, my guys. That's what's up. So Oliver, so guys, everybody here, what do you guys think think of this long-term monthly chart of Bitcoin? You know, I mean, I understand Chainlink. Like we check out the Chainlink monthly on Coinbase. There's not that much trading history, but yeah, it popped up and, and, and we're consolidating. You know, it needs some consolidation. This is giving you an opportunity to buy Chainlink at a discount, okay? At a major discount. Going back to the the uh, Bitcoin, yeah, guys, just I mean, we just got a hold, right? The reason why I ha have these lines here is because there's major resistance, major support at 10,000, like 500, 10,700. So just keep that in mind. Alrighty, guys, we're, we're gonna have a 10 minute warning right now. This live stream will end in 10 minutes. Is there any last questions you guys have for me? Any last news that I should be made aware of? What is going on? And kind of curious, can you guys hear um, some background noise? There are there are some dogs barking outside, which is lovely. I, I hope you guys cannot hear them, but just let me know down in the comments. So yeah, just 10 minute warning, so cool. But yeah, guys, and if you're interested in uh, seeing what I personally, what's personally in, in my portfolio, I have my portfolio video right here. You guys can check that out. Um, I try to stay up to, to, to date in the latest in the crypto space. So we definitely Uniswap's on here. Um, we had the live stream yesterday. I have the buy XRP. Are you guys XRP fans? You guys love it, hate it. This is definitely a video to check out. Why I think it will have a massive pump um, in the next three, three, like three to six months. And something like helium. Have you guys heard of helium? I know I mentioned it before. It's in a, a video or two. But uh, you know, only a thousand pe people like this on CoinGecko, so that's not not many people. Um, it's interesting. Let's just go check their website out. They're, they're the ones that are deploying hotspots for your city. You guys can actually get one of these. It's kind of cool. I was looking at it, uh, doing that, but I was like, uh, I don't know. I guess I need to look into it a little more. I was just kind of, you know, they have Coindesk going here, Fortune, Forbes, Time, Fast Company, and Decrypt. So I was like, you know, are they really investors? And if they are, it's like, whoa, because you can earn tokens. So that's the interesting thing, like with that. Um, so, and they have somewhere on here, I, I, like, I remember watching, they have a map of like where it's all like, what's all lit up with their hotspots. And it's meant to connect like the small things. So the, the IOT Internet of Things devices in your city. So it's, it's definitely great, great for cities. And just scrolling down, you know, it says your hotspot earned this much HNT, which obviously right now is not that much money, but hey, you know what? This thing goes up a lot, a lot of value. That, whew, that could be a lot, a lot of money. So I just wanted to see like, have you guys heard of this? Are you guys planning on launching like one of those hotspots? Um, if we go to buy a hotspot, let's just pick the United States because it looks like you can get them all over the world. Um, it, so it's a wait list right now. Yeah, I, I did see that, which was a little frustrating because it's like, it'd be cool to see how, how much they cost because then you you could determine, like, are you actually going to make money then? Um, like, what's going on there? It says the hotspots purchased today will ship in August 2020. Fully refundable until we ship. Reserve your place in line for Helium Hotspot. So it sounds like you probably have to eat. You probably have to email them, get, get on their wait list, and then they email you to, to buy. But uh, it's kind of interesting. It says more details, you know, efficient. Um, oh, and then uh, like Oliver, um, like, I'm sorry, man. I, I kind of got caught away, away from the comments. You said, I'm full-time crypto. You, like, with question mark? I'm, I'm not full-time crypto, um, but uh, definitely working towards that. Definitely working towards, like, the full-time crypto. So do you trade or are you just holding? It kind, of, it kind of sounds like I like if I'd have to guess, you're probably doing a mix of both. Uh, but back to the whole like this uh, like hotspot. I mean, it says efficient miner for new crypto. That, you know, the helium connects set up in minutes, guys. I, like obviously, you don't want to have this like in, in depth like mining rig that you have to spend so much time on because nobody wants that, especially not not the at, like the average Joe. So keep that in mind. It says long fi technology maximizes range and battery life without Wi-Fi, cellular, or Bluetooth. 
It says low power only uses about the same amount as an LED light bulb. Guys, that's good because you don't want your electric bill going up. And it says easily manage hotspots and tokens from the mo mo mobile app. That's what's up, my guys. I said it's definitely something I should I should sign up for for the the waiting list just to see exactly what it's about. Um, just see you know how it works because this could be a major player, especially. Oh, it says we're currently sold out of hotspots. Shipping is underway for hotspots purchased in the order that they, they replaced. Oh my, because I mean, it, it like if you could get one, let's say this thing would hit ten bucks, and, and and you're mining them, like that's that's a pretty big deal, pretty big deal. So guys, is there any last minute news you guys want to make me aware of? Let's uh check out the Twitter space. Um, zoom in a little bit. So we got five minutes ago. Michael Saylor said, we acquired 21,454 Bitcoin via 78,380 off-chain transactions, then secured it in a cold storage with 18 on-chain transactions. Bitcoin scales just fine as a store of value. Whoa. Guys, so it, it is official. I think Pomp, you probably said that on, on the Pomp podcast. I didn't have time to watch that. But whoa, that's a big deal. And then it says OTC, I'm assuming. Um, Young Investing says the 400 uni airdrop to all users who interacted with it before September 1st is the best community engagement Uniswap could do. Bullish on uni and Uniswap usage. Guys, yes, they're all about the community. That's why Oliver said, you know, e even if you didn't get the claim, you're still very early for uni. Chainlink, layer two scaling platform Matic Network is currently integrating Chainlink into its mainnet, enabling Ethereum developers to build highly scalable, universally connected smart contracts. Stay tuned for upcoming dev workshops on how to start building. Yeah, guys, I mean, Chainlink, it's always great news, guys. Always great news. So Wolf of All Streets, I, I usually always say his uh, like his tag wrong. You can believe that Bitcoin is a stupid experiment that it could go to zero and laugh at all of us for our conviction. And you should still own some, just in case you are wrong and it ends up being the ultimate hedge. Yeah, guys, I don't know about you. That, that feels like uh, something to keep in mind. Oops. You know, for the for for all those no coiners out there, what uh, you know they have to have some kind of hedge, right? So just scrolling through, see if there's any major news. Yeah, I definitely think Ethereum is largely undervalued, guys. I definitely think so. Um, I mean, we got pe people that believe it's going to take, you know, like a lot longer than what like Vitalik is saying, and who knows, it might actually happen that way. <laughs> Kiss frontman Genesis <laughs> suggests that he's making the crypto more accessible. Hey, you guys should check out the Tyler Winklevoss and I believe it's Cameron w w like Winklevoss. They have the Gemini Exchange. And it says, dude, uni is legit free money. If you don't need it, just let it run and see where it takes you. Betting against the biggest Def DeFi platform, that was a bad idea. Guys, I definitely agree with that. You got to give that some love. That's definitely, I mean, just think about it. Just think about it, guys. It was so, like some health tips. Yeah, guys, make sure you guys are like, getting your D3, some probiotics, you know. Hey. Got some great tips there by Gal Galgatron. <laughs> he says, don't ask for predictions. So just scrolling through. Oh, Mantra Dow. Yeah, guys, that's with uh, Kusama, if I'm not, not mistaken, and with uh, Polkadot. But it's definitely a D5 play. So, so, so right here, Cactus is saying the ETH slash USD currently daily chart looking pretty interesting. Waiting to see if we can flip this current resistance at 380 before confirming that we see further upside at 400. Yeah, um, let's go back to the chart of ETH. Yeah, guys, um, I have the line right there at 435. So he's, he, he was saying 380. Yeah, right now we're at 380. Yeah, we definitely need to get, let's zoom out a little bit. I just want to see. So we're on the monthly. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some. Yeah, be right in there, definitely. But uh, guys, you just like you guys want to see this go way, way above, like the, like the 420 area. Let's zoom in, right here, around 430 bucks. You know, 420 bucks. We want to see Ethereum get way above that, and then there's not that much resistance. We got we got some spots with like a little bit, but hey, we shall see what like what goes on there, if you know what I mean. So back to Twitter. Ooh, which one was I in? So, so right here is his, his analysis. He's saying 400, 380, 360, 320. Yeah, he he definitely broke it down pretty good. I, I like the blue and white. I don't know about you guys. That that like that does look pretty good. 
Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely need to see Brag about the 380 li li like he shows here on the chart, for sure. <laughs> just realize it's not Friday yet. That's a, that is unfortunate. It is Thursday. So, guys, we, like, we got some interesting in, in, like, information, <laughs> chain link hoodie giveaway. That's pretty cool. But, um, you know, we there's actually was an article. Do I still have it up? Here it is. Bitcoin's speculators hit all-time lows, as Grayscale says, Bitcoin, like 2016. So it says, so this is a pretty cool one. So data says holders are gaining and speculators are vanishing from Bitcoin, with one, co with one commentator arguing that the bull run is just beginning. Guys, I've been saying this for a while now, guys. We're in the early innings. We haven't even started like the baseball game, so to speak. It says Bitcoin holders are beating out speculators and a sign that the cryptocurrency's bull run is just beginning. Data suggests part of the asset management grayscale valuing Bitcoin report issued this month, the holder reverse speculation index, HSI, is showing highly bullish divergence. Guys, keep in mind, this article was published seven hours ago. Keep that in mind. Grayscale notes similar structures to early 2016. Guys, we saw Willie Wu say the same thing. So the holder reverse in speculator index measures Bitcoin acti activity from wallets in order to give an impression of how network partnerships are using BTC and the market sentiment as a result. The data compiled from on-chain an analytics resource coin metrics labels coins which have not moved in one to three years as holder coins. Speculator coins are those which have moved at some point in the past 90 days. Whoa, so that's a uh, that's pretty cool. So it says notice the, the similar structure to that of the early 2016. So 2016 is right here. So where is okay? So speculators are this green line. This is the price of Bitcoin, and this is the holders. So guys, they're seeing the holders are going up. Speculators are going down. So that's pretty impressive to see, guys. I, I don't know what like, what do you guys think about this? And it says the one year dormant Bitcoin beats record, guys. I know I saw that. I mentioned that in a previous video because I was looking at looking into Bitcoin.com, guys. It definitely it, it beat that record, and that is what's up, guys. So just hitting the highlights here. This metric indicates a strong conviction in Bitcoin by its current investor base. While this is a supply side metric, it also demonstrates the demand for Bitcoin's use case as a store of value rather than trading. It appears investors are interested in holding Bitcoin despite its volatility. Yeah, and one would argue, like, why would you want to hold something with such like, volatility? But, uh, yeah, just ending, like, this article with this or value proposition continues to gain, uh, to, to, like, to gain public exposure this month as MicroStrategy, which, you know, purchased over 21 million Bitcoin in August, confirmed it had upped its holdings to an equivalent of over $400 million. What do you guys think about that? I mean, I know I've mentioned that before. If you guys haven't heard it, then you've heard it here first. But, uh, you know, what, like, what do you guys think about that? I mean, seeing, seeing that the holders are, are holding more, the one-year hold wave is breaking all-time highs. People are not speculating as much. And what's interesting, because looking at the holders, this isn't the same as looking at Bitcoin.com because this right here made an all-time high. So I, I need to look into this a little bit more. But yeah, because if you go to look into Bitcoin.com, go, go to the one-year hold wave, this is way higher. So, all right, guys, just checking to see if there's any last minute comments, any last minute things going on. Okay, cool. Everything looks good, guys. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this live stream. If you guys have any other news, anything going on in this space, you guys can let me know. Send me a DM on Twitter, you know, just comment on YouTube. But guys, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe for more content. You know, it's always cool doing these things like to show what's like, what's the latest in the space. Uniswap is definitely hot. You know, are you guys filling up on some? Are you guys not? Are you guys selling what you got for free? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. This is not financial advice. You know, invest with your own risk. And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment. Crypto Homie is signing out, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.